just in a couple of weeks into pre-season now. How are you finding it? Yeah, very good. Um, the boys, yeah, there is a very good crew. Um, people help me a lot. Uh, even if I don't speak English, they help, help me a lot. Uh, I enjoy my time. And also we got the nice weather, so it's the best thing for me. <laughs> is anyone in particular that's been helping you out settling in? Uh, everyone. like. Uh, all the guys, uh, all the staff, uh, all the people working in, in, the, in Leeds uh, helped me a lot for, uh, for my house, for the car, or just find the training centre. Um, good people. And I've heard from the lads that you've, you've been put in charge of music, you're, you're giving them some new tunes they might not have heard of before? I try, I try to put some uh, French, English song, African song, just to have a good vibe and I like to make uh, everyone happy. And, that's the thing I can help uh, everyone. And we've got the game coming up against Wakefield on, on the 26th. Are you looking to be involved in that? Yeah, I'm very excited to start uh, play with Leeds. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a big part of my life and just start to uh, play against Wakefield is the start of everything. So I hope I will play uh, all the year and show to everyone what I can do for Leeds and we will do a big thing. So. And how is pre-season compared to, to what you've been used to previously with Toulouse? Like everything is different, uh, even for the field where we train or the um, like we've got ice bath and all the stuff like this uh, close to us. Um, that helps a lot for recovery, get ready for the next day. So yeah, all the all the, the little things like that make the difference between my old team and now. And there's lots of players in training as well in terms of that intensity with, with, with every session. Is that something you've noticed? So you can feel the, the young girls, the young blood. Uh, they, they, are, they, they feel the, the energy and they help a lot everyone. And uh, I like when the young girls come and you know push uh, each other for get better every day. So. And just away from the rugby, obviously, France have had a fantastic World Cup. Did you did you lay off the lads on Monday after the after the <laughs> final? Uh, it was tough because uh, I just arrived and um, there was a game uh, France England. Uh, it's just fun and all the the boys are laughing about this. Uh, uh, everyone was happy for uh, for me and because France win and now now everyone is with with me push me and I don't know how to say this but everyone uh, is happy for France win. <laughs> did, did you watch the game against England? Yeah I watched the game. What were you thinking when Harry Kane was lining up that second penalty? <laughs> I was like this and say oh come on bro just just miss it. And, and, you, and you won yourself a breakfast as well you had a little side bet with, with Daryl? Yeah yeah I win a, a breakfast an English breakfast with Daryl so I'm happy ah, it's just a game so just have fun and that's, the, that's good for the boys to have fun every day. So, And what are you pred predicting for Sunday? Will Mbappe lead France to, to more glory? <laughs> I hope I hope Mbappe will lead the, the team. But also it's a, a sport with a, a heap of players in the field. It's not just Mbappe. So I'm, I'm very sure uh, France will be uh, um, victorious uh, this Sunday. All the team, not just Mbappe. <laughs> And all the Rhinos boys, they're, they're cheering on Les Bleus on, on, on Sunday? I hope so. I hope. We will see.